How's it going everyone? It's Kendall Jones and you're watching Super Simple Tuts. So uh, today I'm going to be uh, going over my export settings from Substance Painter to uh, Marmoset Toolback 3. And uh, one of the most commonly asked questions I get from students or uh, peers is uh, what are my export settings or how, do, how, how can I match Substance Painter look inside of Unreal Engine 3 Unity or uh, Marmoset. And here's, uh, here's, here's what I do to get my look. So I'll go to File, Export Textures, and I'll go down to the common, um, I'll change the configurations to PBR, Spec Gloss, to Metal Rough. And that gives you these maps right here, Diffuse, Specular, Gloss, Normal, Height, Emissive, Scattering, Specular, and AO. You're not going to be using most of these, but here's what I use. Um, so I choose that, choose the location where I want to export these to, so I'll just say Desktop, make a new folder. Um, Tutorial, let's say tutor. Tutorial, there you go. And um, select and I'll export those. So now that's complete. And here's how it looks really quick before I jump over to Marmoset. Looks, um, looks okay. Not nothing much done to it, but um, that's it in substance. All right, guys, so here we are in Marmoset. Now first you want to load your file, so file, import, grab that model, so, and here's the low poly really quick, and you want to create a new material, so just hit this plus sign right here, and first you want to grab that normal map, I'll grab it, and Usually, what what I what I'll do is I'll usually just import them first here, then I drag the material on. But just so you guys can see how it works, I'm gonna pop this material over here really quick, dragging it to the model, separate uh, pieces. All right, now I'm gonna drag grab that normal map that I just exported, my desktop, desktop, tutorial, and uh, here's that normal map. And with the normal map applied, make sure, I, I usually just uh, click flip the Y and it fixes everything. Because if you try the other ones, it looks kind of wonky. So, it's weird. So I just click flip the Y, grab that gloss. So the gloss map, make sure you use glossiness. And you want to invert that. And for the, the glossiness, I usually keep it somewhere around uh, 0 0.6, usually works for me. And uh, for the bottom, for the smoothing, uh, anywhere like around 0 0.9 works just fine. Hit enter for that. For the albedo, grab that uh, diffuse. Got that in there. Specular, grab that spec map. the spec map so you see already um here's how it's looking already I'm getting pretty pretty good and um, so if, if you didn't invert that that gloss map this is how it would have looked so it looks fine it's just there's no shine to it so and you can mess with the, the shininess if you want to um, for specular um, you can this is really up to your own discretion what you want to have is the specular level in the for now, you can change it as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you can add lights in here. Let me go to scene really quick. Uh, add object, grab a light. Add some lighting right there. And now I'm going to change the background really quick. Grab me a sky. So this is really up to you. Whatever you want to use to set the tone for your uh, environment. And it really uh, affects your uh, object that you're lighting it with. So I like cathedral is pretty pretty good for what I want to use it for. Grab some lights. Light this up a bit. I'm gonna turn down the backdrop brightness to black. So here it is guys. Here's how I get that look from painter to marmoset. So I matched it pretty good and if not it I think it actually looks a bit better. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.